Good morning, guys. Welcome to 5 a.m. It was a long night. The puppy had a bad night last night. Sam, nobody listens to me. They act like I don't know anything about training puppies. I think I'm the one that trains the puppies in this family. Me and Gabby. Welcome to 5 a.m., ladies. Gabby, you gotta be ready. Let's go. Story of our life. Come on, Gabby. <laughs> Let's go, you guys. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble. But we don't really care. Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow. But it will still be fair. No, they don't pick us up. Instead, they knock us down. And that's the way it goes until we're in the ground. I don't want to do this anymore. Wow, what a mess. You guys have been pooping. So, uh, the reason we put the horses in last night was. Why did we put the horses in last night? Usually they stay out all night. What? Yeah. Food outside. Why'd they stay in, Soph? For Lady. Lady had to stay in so she doesn't roll around and wreck her braids. And it was a... Or get dirty. She's the same? She's probably dirtier. Is she? Did you wow, you could tell Gabby was here making herself a home last night. She's got a fan and an extension cord all the way. <laughs> the girls spent the whole night out here last night braiding and getting ready and I love that Sophie does that to Gabby. One thing like I've always done with my girls is that I don't just send them off to do stuff. I always like want them to feel supported and I always spend time with them and like I believe there's no don't send somebody to do a job that you wouldn't do yourself. So I always stay with them and, and Gabby's kind of taking that on. Did she walk in all by herself? Like, did she just go right in? What a good pony. Ladybug, can't really see you, but we see that white blaze. Good morning, we're going to a horse show. And Gabby makes an entrance. <laughs> yes, you. Just when we're finished, we're ready to roll, sister. Perfect timing. Gabby doesn't try to be late. She's just, that's just her. And she's never late to anything. Actually, you've, she's never been late to school. Have you been late? Actually, no, I have not. I consider this late. Even the one time I thought I was late, I was still late. Yeah, so she's like me. She's never late to anything, but I consider this late. You're late to everything. What are you talking? I'm about? never late. You're always late. I'm. A ne I always say, "Oh my God, we're late. We're late. We're late," because I'm afraid we'll be late. And then I arrive there early. I've never been late. I don't know why kids do that. Every kid does that. They like have their own interpretation of life. <laughs> it's different from the from from the family, but it's true. Like I grew up in the generation that if you're late. It's it disrespectful. I would never be late. That's why we are the first ones at the horse show every single time. You know what she always says to people when we arrive places? What? I'm sorry we're late. I never say that! <laughs> she always says that. Okay, tell me one time I said that. None come to mind. <laughs> yeah, I wonder every why. Time we go out and there's a time to meet up. Oh my god, so sorry we're late. I may have said that once in my life. No, no. You're giving her a headache, Mom. She's giving me a headache. All right, let's go. It's time to go. We don't want to be late.
best thing ever created. She is looking cute. Unfortunately, it's those white socks that always cause us problems. Yeah, those white socks, lady. Look at how it's just uh, coming right out. She's going to be all muddy again, though. Oh, yeah. Lucky for us, it's a muddy day. It's such a bad storm yesterday, the whole everything is wet. Like, the arena is soaked. So, she's going to be flinging mud everywhere. So, we're not going to worry about it. So, it's wet down there still, but you spray that stuff on and it, like, does so good. No, they don't pick us up. Instead, they knock us down. And that's the way it goes until we're in the ground. No, they don't pick us up. Instead, they knock us down. And that's the way it goes until we're in the ground. No, they don't pick us up. Lucky number 170. Lucky number 170. So Sophie's going to be in two divisions today. She's going to do walk trot poles because Lady needs to get her feet, her show feet wet. So she needs to like learn about horse shows and she's not really learned to jump yet. So um, she's doing that and then she's doing walk trot cross rails. So those are the two divisions and we're hoping to change for next year. They need time to work on stuff. Because cantering is so new to Lady, we chose not to do anything with canter in it this year. As a harness horse, she never really had to canter before and she, Obvious, and she had no back end muscles, or she had she had a weaker back end when we first got her because of the no cantering and all the hills at our house and all the cantering practice and lessons that Sophie's been doing is like made a massive difference. But because she's new to cantering, we chose not to do anything with cantering in it because she has a little bit of anxiety going into the canter. Like not only does she have to jump into the canter because she doesn't have the muscle built up, but she's a little bit nervous about it still, or actually not as much now. They've really been working on it. But because of that, we chose not to do anything with canter, but next year she'll be a jumping. So I saw like a, a show pad that was so skinny. Sam says we should just cut this quilting off the back of it. It's so thick though, Sam. I don't know if that will work. Dad wants to cut the back off this. I'm already, I'm already hot. All right, it's time to warm up you guys. Yep. All right, Sophie might be the first one up on the horse. They, I'm going to have to figure out my hand. You're going to have to what? We're going to have to figure out my hand. All right, well, let's do it now quick because Brandon wants you already I warming up. You have to put it I can, I can do buns. I used to do your hair all the time. I should insert a yeah. million pictures of um, your hair. I did your hair. Don't do that. I did hair. I did the girl's hair in a different style every day. I don't know if I did a, a good job with the bun. I think it could fall out mid-ride. Okay. I'm going to show you guys our setup. All we need is an awning. We need an awning on that half of the trailer to come out so we can have, because we're facing the sun. Um, you look cute. Oh, number. Do you like them? Do you like them? Yeah, I love them. Those are Kunkel gloves. Not sponsored. They're just amazing gloves. Those were yours from last year. Because I found them. I lost them. They are so good. All right, bridling up. It's okay. You're just gonna do a little show and then we'll go home to your friends. Bugs are still landing even though you sprayed her. All right, you guys, you wanna see the tsunami? The tsunami we're gonna ride in today? That might be your only concern. Don't worry, you're going home. See, she's always looking around like, I don't understand, I don't understand. But you're gonna understand. It takes repeated exposure for her she's to. She's doing the cross rails? No, she's doing both. Poles it takes, and cross rails? Yeah. It takes repeated exposure for her to learn All right, Gabby. what she's here for. Soon she'll be a seasoned show horse. Like Storm. Like Storm. But I like that she's looking around and trying to figure it out. Yeah, that's why I said don't baby powder her legs. Because it's so wet. Do you want to hold her stirrup? All right. Yep. Let's go, people. Let's do this. I love a show with a good water feature. <laughs> About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. Sometimes you gotta show when it's wet out. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.
She's not impressed? Oh well. Sometimes this is what you have to deal with in the world. Everybody's out here trying to warm up. Does she look okay? A little bit of sh horse show jitters. <laughs> She's definitely confused about the water. Good girl. Turn your reins a little bit and hands forward. Well, we can be live with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. I love that you can get in here and like warm up so that they get used to it. Oh, she's muddy. You got it. They just did an announcement and they said like there's over a hundred competitors. Uh, it's the last show of the season. There's over a hundred people and that if we need some floaties, just let them know and that they hope everybody has a good day. Like this is such a nice show series. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. I think I need to shim the front a little bit more. We went, went to a horse show in the fall and there was a huge mud puddle in the middle of the arena, like a huge mud puddle. It was like a little pond and people were being thrown throughout the whole day. Like it was during COVID because you had to show up and then leave and people were being thrown off and our horses, literally it was Finn and, Finn and Chino, I think. Finn and Chino and Storm, I think. And literally, our horses looked at the at that puddle a couple of times and then they just rode beautifully through it. It was the show where Brandon showed, Gabby showed, and Sophie showed, and they all won champion in their division in the middle of a mud puddle. So it's so good for horses to like get used to stuff like that. Here with that term at horse shows, hurry up and wait. I mean, I guess it goes in all things in life, but you're always like in a hurry, in a hurry, because you gotta warm up and then you have to wait for your turn. Sophie's in the very last group of kids going in this division, so she's had to wait for a while now. And all that work we did on ladies' legs, they're now gray, brown, tan colored from all the mud. We brushed all the mud off of her though. Lady, you're such a good girl. Yeah, we just love you. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about her saddle pad. She doesn't have a show pad on. This is what we decided to use for today. We see lots of people using white show or white saddle pads instead of a show pad sometimes when you're working through situations that's what has to happen it's okay that it's not perfect this is a schooling show and that's why we're here because we haven't perfected anything yet it's more important that she feels comfortable The judge here today is hilarious. She just said that she's gonna be awarding extra points for the biggest splash. Because when we're standing like around the, the ring watching, all the parents are getting splashed with mud.
<laughs> it wasn't my fault though. It was Gabby. Well, you're okay. the one responsible. I know. She told me the quarters. She's I know. Fired. I know. You fired Gabby. But so you know what's cool though, Sylvie. You know what's cool is that there's like a sinkhole in the middle of the the thing where they fall down and kind of into the mud, and all the horses were catching on it. Lady knows where it is and skipped it. She skirted it each time. Is that why she kept jumping forward in that far corner? I don't know. I don't. Is that why she no. was like? Whoosh! No. The sinkhole is like Close to that. Beside the green jump. Yeah. This way. And all the horses are going down like they're bent back end. Well, because with the brown diagonal, she like jumped it and then she couldn't pick up her feet fast enough so she tripped. And she's like, I'm not doing that again. I know. And that's what I'm trying to say about this horse. Like, she's so fast at picking things up. She's like, okay, well, there's a sinkhole there. There's a jump there. There's a jump there. I'm not going there again. And then she just kind of skirts it. Like, she's actually doing so good. She's kill she's that. doing kill amazing. It, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh Make my. Sure it dies. Ew. Oh. No, it's a it big like fly. A... Look at that. Yeah. That is a mess. Not my fault. I didn't... So when we ordered the saddle, we got most of it calf skin. And then this part we got, I forget what it's called, but because Sophie was a kid and even Gabby, this is like indestructible. Doesn't look quite as nice, but it is worth it. Hops. Do you guys remember Hops that Gabby used to ride? When he first got here, he's in there with a little tiny kid on him. And he's looking so quiet. It's amazing what schools can do for horses. It's 11 a.m. and we are on the home stretch. So if he just has one flat class to go and she has maybe how many kids in front of her? Oh, she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh nine, gosh. Ten. And Eleven. Then still to finish these ones. 11 rides before. 10 double rides and then two more. Just joking, she has 20 rides left. <laughs> Lady's over there enjoying her, her lunch. Anybody recognize that beautiful boy? Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry again? All right, it's time to do the flat class. We've been showing. Uh, we started showing at 7.30, is now almost noon. We've been here for so long. I just realized they're gonna split us up into groups. Probably in the first group. You think you're in the first group? You're probably in the second. I think the second. Well, I'm in There's 20 people in this division, but they're separating them under 12 and over 12. I'm in the This is why I love our trailer, because when it's so hot out, we can just put our chairs in there and then just go sit in there. Or when it's pouring rain, we can sit in there. They had to split this flat into three groups, man. <laughs> it's been hours. But I'm so grateful to be here. I love horse shows and there's no other way I'd rather spend my day, unless I'm with my animals. Like, I am miss Ellie. Do you miss, so Sam told me earlier he missed his puppy. Sam and I were just talking about how like ladies' butt got smaller and it's because they are outside on grass and we feed them hay, we give them hay as well, but they don't want to eat the hay because they want the grass. So there's not as much grass as there was, but they go out there and they nibble the grass and spend hours nibbling the grass because they like it better than the hay. So she kinda, so we're gonna increase her grain a little tiny bit and see if we can get her back, her butt back stop a problem before it happens so we're going to change that this week and also a lady is impatient that is one thing about her but i love that about her she's impatient because she likes to do stuff she likes to be busy but she's definitely doing laps here while we wait for our turn what's your story what's your sign it's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers Once, like a long time ago, we had Finn read by a psychic, and and the psychic kept saying like, and it seemed real, and she kept saying like, get her read. Yeah, we should. And Storm, I feel like Storm has a story to tell, but. Storm, real? 
Yeah. He got red by his old owners. He yeah, likes to be red at from the road by cars. He likes to be, yeah. So they said about Storm, it was the same lady. He got red by his old owners and they, he said like he liked to be in the field and waved at by cars, but that he liked to just sit in a field. <laughs> and Finn always said he wanted to be a champion. And Finn said he wanted to know what the do dollar store was. And I always cry <laughs> about that because when Sophie got him, she was eight years old. And she used to say, Finn, I'm going to the dollar store. I'll get you something. And he told the psychic, I want to know what the dollar store is. And uh, so many people that I know that have been red, their horses have been red, they say that they never get to see the ribbons. And like, it makes me tear up. Like, I think it's so important to show your horses the ribbons. And that's a wrap, people. We were telling Finn's owner what the psychic said about him and how he likes to see the ribbons and how all he wants in life is to be a champion. That's what she said about Finn. And I feel like that, like he goes out there and he just pushes and he just wants to go. I believe that he wants to be a champion. I don't know about Lady, I'm excited. Comment below if you've had a uh, animal communicator read your horse, dog, whatever, and tell me what they said, because it's super interesting to me. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way